Gordon Lucier is a career criminal who's done 20 years in prison for everything from bank robbery to attempted murder. But his most famous crime was almost killing serial killer Clifford Olson in 1976 before he set out on his rampage of murdering children. There was this kid up on, on one of the upper ranges where Olson was uh, coercing, coercing him to have uh, sex. Olson wouldn't let him go to the gym, wouldn't let him talk to nobody, and then. Uh, so it was a couple of guys that I know, capable guys, came and told me about it, and uh, I sat on it, slept on it. I met a guy out at uh, on a tennis court and called him over and, and said, uh, "I'm going to kill him tonight in the gym." Olson is now near death, suffering from cancer, but Lucier is not shedding any tears for him. Obviously, the news will come down sooner or later that, that he's died. Yeah. Be honest with, with me. What, mm -hmm. What's the first reaction you're going to have when you find out? What's the first reaction I'm going to have? Oh, well, <laughs> what happens? You leave what you saw. Lucier says he's a changed man. He's been out of prison for seven years now. But he does admit that he regrets that he couldn't finish that job. 35 years ago. He was a poker player too, eh? so the objective was getting him at the table and then call him. Then I, I had another thing to call him over, to get another guy to call him over because I had a big ping pong table set up where he couldn't get out and I had a couple of people. Well, there's other people involved just to keep that ping pong there and don't let him get away. And as soon as he came around the corner, I smashed him over the head with a hammer and started stabbing him. And then when he was lying there, I went back to do the finishing one, and that was the big scar he never went. He still survived. I know, I know he was on the operating table for quite a while. How did you feel when you found out that he survived? Not good. Survived to testify. For Sun News Network, I'm Michelle Mandel.